Hello guys and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick and simple way to make stitches in Blender. Now this is a little bit of a workaround way. Um, it would be cool if there was some sort of add-on that just allows you to paint um, this all in onto the surface. And so maybe there is something like that. But for now, if you need to make some quick and simple stitches, I'm going to be showing you how to do this. It's just a matter of making a curve, modeling these little stitches, and then making it all follow along. So you can see this is a little setup here. Let's get into it. I'll quickly show you how to do it. And uh, hopefully you guys can use it in your work. So go ahead and jump on into Blender. And let's just start by selecting everything and just deleting it. And let's just use a monkey head for an example. And we're gonna go shift A, go to our mesh options and just add in the classic Suzanne monkey head. Let's go to our modifiers. Let's give it a subdivision surface modifier. Um, tab back out into object mode and let's just come to the drop down here and apply it, okay? So I just want a little bit more geometry to work here, here that we can turn into a curve. Now let's just say for example, you wanted to make an object have different parts that are all sewn together. So for example sake, let's just say this front face here is gonna be its own patch. So let's go Shift A and then left click on this edge here. And that should select the whole loop of verts going all the way around because it's all connected. And then you can go Control B or Command B for you Mac users. That'll allow you to create a bevel. Now, if you create the bevel by moving your mouse, you can also roll your middle mouse button up once. That's gonna add an extra segment in the middle. So let's just make something that out that width. And then we're gonna just left click and that adds it in. While that's still all selected, we're gonna go Control minus or Command minus. And you can see it shrunk the selection. So we only have one loop in here selected and we're gonna go Alt S. And what Alt S does compared to scaling, scaling just scales the whole thing. But if you go Alt S, it actually scales along the normals of the faces, which um, is gonna help us a lot here. So it's a little bit more consistent going around. So we've just put it in like that. Um, probably don't go too deep. So maybe just something like that, a slight divot. Once you have that done, you can go Control B again. So control B one more time and make sure that extra loop is there in the middle. So you should have three new segments like that. One, two, three. Then go control minus and you should only have one edge still selected. Now keep in mind, this is optional. I'm just making this groove here because it just looks a little bit better. You can just select an edge and turn it into a curve. You don't have to make that. But I thought I'd add it in here anyway. So we're gonna go shift D with that selected to duplicate that edge we got here. And we're gonna go P and we're gonna go separate selection. So P and then go selection head back out and now you can see here in the scene outliner we have a second object called Suzanne 001 and let's just double click on that and call it um, curve and what we're going to do is we're going to tab into edit mode and we're just going to come down here and select a vertex you can see we have a whole bunch let's just select this bottom one we're going to go x and delete that vertex now we just have this edged with a missing vertex and then just select this vertex here at the bottom and then go shift S and then go cursor to select it. So it's putting our cursor at that point there. We're then gonna go F3 with that curve selected. And when we type in here, when once we've pressed F3, we can type in set and then space and then type in origin. And it's gonna give us these options. Let's go origin to 3D cursor. So now the origin point is there. And if you rotate it, you can see it rotates around that point. Now we need to actually convert it into a curve. I know I actually called it curve here, but it's not actually a curve. We need to type in F3 again. And this time we need to go convert. So type in convert, and it's gonna come up with these options. And let's go to curve. Now if we tab in, it's no longer a mesh, it's actually now a curve. Okay, so now we have our curve out of the way. Let's make the actual stitches. We're gonna go shift A, we're gonna go to our mesh options. Let's add in a plane. Let's go S to scale that plane down. Now at the moment, you can see this plane is actually positioned right at the beginning of that 3D cursor, which is really good. That's where we place the origin point for our curve. That's really gonna help things out. And once you scale it down, just for now, give it an array modifier, and then just stretch this array modifier out a little bit. So that's just the spacing there. You can always adjust it later. And let's just give it 120 um, as a count for now, okay? We'll always adjust it a little bit later. Tab into edit mode and then go S, Y, and flatten on the Y. And let's just leave it at that for now, okay? We'll always get in there and edit it if we need to. Now let's minimize this over here in our modifiers. Come to the drop down and let's give this now the all important curve modifier. And let's come to the curve object and let's select the curve. And there you can see it's following the curve. Now, if you've placed this anywhere else, you might get stuff like this. So that's why we have that object starting. So the origin point of this plane is in the exact same spot as the origin point for that curve. Okay, so just move things around and line them up if they're not lined up quite right. We can see this is how long it is because we have this count over here. 
I'm going to leave it at 120 because I'm actually going to scale this stitching down because I want it to be a little bit smaller. It's about like that. And then I'm going to tab into edit mode and I'm going to go RX90 to rotate that little piece. And I'm going to go control R and add in an edge in the middle and just left click twice. And then I'm going to go G, Y and move it forward like that. Now I'm going to tab back out and you can see we have um, it popping out a little bit. So at the moment, the rotation isn't quite right. So all you have to do in edit mode is just select that, go R, X, and then just rotate it till it lines up with our st stitching here. So the stitching makes sense. So I'm just rotating it on the X. And for now, that looks okay. I'm also just going to come to my array and I'm going to bring the gap down to 1.1. So it's a smaller gap in between the stitching. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Okay, now with that stitch selected, let's just go E to extrude and then Alt S just to scale that new faces in like that. And now I can see these stitches have a little bit more thickness to them. And we can also just select this middle edge here and go Control B. And that's just a simple way to add a little bit more geometry. So just Control B. You can roll the middle mouse button to add or take segments. I'm just going to go with one segment. I'm going to select that segment and just move it in a little bit. You can see it's embedded a little bit too much here. So I'm just going to go A to select all of this topology and I'm just going to go G and just move it down. Maybe G, Z and move it down into Z. Go to my right view and I'm just going to move it around till it's sitting right over here. I'm going to just keep rotating it, just playing around with it. And okay, at the moment that looks much better. So now you can tab back out. And it's looking a little bit low poly. So let's now on top of that, go and give it a subdivision surface modifier. And there we go. That's the stitching. So if we want to edit things now, we can just select the stitching, go to the array modifier. You can change the count. You can add in more stitching if you need to, like so. And you can also adjust the distance between the individual stitches over here under the X factor. Um, so that's pretty simple stuff to do. Okay, now I'm just going to select everything in object mode. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go shade smooth. I'm also just going to select my monkey head and give it a subdivision surface modifier just to make it look a bit nicer as well. And there you can see we have these stitches. So you can use the exact same method um, to make stitches anywhere and it can actually look pretty okay for something that we can just do in Blender without any add-ons. So if you guys have any other suggestions, maybe an add-on that does this for you, um, go ahead, mention it in the comments. But for now, this is just a simple way you can make some stitches. I know it's a little bit of a workaround. I know a lot of people don't like that. But for now, if you needed a method, you could use this. So I might just pop my original one I showed you earlier um, on Patreon. Maybe some of you are interested in that. But it was just a levered texture that I put on there and just some basic lights in Blender. So nothing too fancy. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And I hope you guys stay safe and enjoy your projects in Blender.